we're gonna learn all about the animals living in the jungle. Say, which animal do you think has the most in common with you and me? I'll give you a hint. Ooh, ooh, yeah, ooh. Did you say gorilla? Gorilla. No, Tarzan. That's a piece of chalk. Gorillas are part of the ape family, the closest related species to mankind. The fun has arrived. Thank you very much. Gorillas are very social animals. Did you know there can be up to 50 members in a gorilla family group? Family groups? Excuse me, but these are wild beasts. It would sooner tear your head off than look at you. Actually, Clayton, gorilla mothers like Kala are inseparable from their young. This creates a bond between mother and child that lasts their whole life. Don't even think about it. How'd you know it was me? I'm your mother. I know everything. But there is the occasional disagreement, like about when to go to bed. Five more minutes? No. Two more minutes? No. One more minute. Many gorillas learn vital survival skills at a young age. But being a gorilla isn't all fun and games. Gorilla dads called silverbacks are responsible for protecting their family. <laughs> gorillas like Kerchak may be fearsome looking on the outside, but unless provoked, Gorillas are kind and gentle creatures with strong family bonds. And in that respect, humans and gorillas are very much alike. Do you see me be a leopard? Have you ever heard the expression, a leopard can't change his spots? Well, that means they can't change who they are. And by nature, these cats are fearsome hunters. Leopards stalk at night and will eat almost anything that moves. Run! Oh, um. Ugh. Leopards use their natural camouflage to hide from their prey. I thought I saw something. And when the time is right, they take them by surprise. But leopards do have a softer side. Mothers watch over their cubs day and night, protecting them until they are fully grown. Okay, he's your baby. Cubs learn to stalk, pounce, and chase when they're young, pretending to be like their parents on the hunt. It's a good way to learn how to survive when they get older, because in the jungle, it's every cat for himself. What if it's a gorilla? It's no gorilla. Although there are similarities, baboons are actually part of the monkey family. Yeah, it's freaky looking, okay? That's what it is. Turk, I'd watch what you say. Baboons usually live in large groups and can be pretty aggressive. What's all the hullabaloo about? Don't worry, Jane. I know exactly how to calm them down. With a joke. What do you call a baboon with half a brain? Gifted. <laughs> Sorry. Seriously, though, baboons aren't the smartest of animals. Oh, look, bananas! <laughs> Baboons do have a highly evolved social structure, and within their group, they exhibit many human-like qualities, such as communication, <laughs> curiosity, and even a healthy appetite. But perhaps the most important part of being a baboon is the loyalty they have for their family and friends. <laughs> What could be more interesting than us? <gasps> that sounded just like an elephant. Have you ever heard the expression, elephants never forget? Well, scientists believe that elephants are one of the smartest animals in the world. Get away from there! Don't you know a piranha can strip your flesh in seconds? Elephants live and travel in large family groups, headed by the female. Women. <laughs> How typical. Did you know elephants can stand up to 12 feet tall and weigh over 12,000 pounds? Hey, what's everybody looking at? Elephants spend most of the day eating. In fact, they can eat more than 600 pounds of food a day. That's a lot of peanuts. You know, I've been thinking lately that maybe Tarzan could be some subspecies of elephant. Think about it. He enjoys a peanut. I enjoy a peanut. Tantor. There's more to being an elephant than just liking peanuts. I mean, can you think of something you have that Tarzan doesn't? Exactly. Only elephants have long trunks and curved ivory tusks. They use them every day for eating and breathing. 